Okay, we're back. So let me just show you here. If you would see here, uh, this line of code, we had a range of theta from negative 100 to positive 100 with a range of, range, range of 4. So these are the numbers that it generated in our x input. Here, when we say shape is equal to 50, meaning all of these values, all of these numbers, all of these numbers, uh, we have 50 numbers generated by the program, okay, by our machine, okay? So if you count this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on, the shape or the number of values here is 50, okay? So remember, the number of values or what we call tensor is 50. And then the D type, meaning the data type, is an INT or what we call an integer. And then 32, a 32 bit integer. So the data type are just integers that are in 32 bits. Okay, same thing with our y axis. Now I want to plot a graph. We have, um, we have what we call a matplotlib. Okay, so matplotlib. Okay. Um, Let's show this one, matplotlib. There we go. Okay. This one now, um, this one now allows you to create a graph. So this is another dependency. Okay. Another dependency. So let's just import the graph. So import matplotlib.piplot then as plt. So this one is a package or dependency. Okay which allows you to um create to create a graph okay create a graph in python all right so with that let's create now another block of code oh, let's create the text first let's say plot my graph okay using the x and y inputs there we go all right so well, then let's add a code and then all I have to do here is I'll just type in PLT, mean PLT meaning this one, PLT dot um, scatter. We want the scatter plot. And what we want is our X value and our Y value. All right. And let's try to play this one and let's see what's going to happen. All right. So PLT is not defined. Let me just check. Okay, I think we have to run this one first. And then play this one again. There we go. So if you would see, this is our x-axis. All right. And this is our y-axis. And it generated now 50 dots. Now, I know you're asking, all right? How did I get this one? How do I memorize this one? How do I know this one? To give you a good answer, I learned machine learning through YouTube and through chat GPT. Okay, so so chat, just go here, chat open ai.com chat. And then um if you have some questions with machine learning or any questions um that I you that you want, I, I sometimes use this one. Now, for example, um how do I create a graph using Google Colab? Okay, or what package or what package do I need to import to create a graph in Google Colab? Okay, to create to create a graph using Python. All right, and let's see. Okay, so this is what I use um, for me just you know for me just to learn um, machine learning while watching um, YouTube videos. So I'll just pause this video while it's generating an answer. All right, so there we go. It's generating the codes for me. See, so to create a graph in Google Colab using Python, you can use the matplotlib and you could import it using the following command. So this is what we just imported in our machine learning program. So if you have some questions or if you want to have further studies, um, you could just use Chat GPT. Just you know, just to um, just to learn machine learning. Okay, so um i think we're just, we're just good with lot live and i'll just end this video so that we go now to our next 
lesson. So go ahead and play around with chat GPT if you don't know the codes or if you want to explore some codes in machine learning. Okay, so I'll see you in the next lesson.